Earlier today, emergency responders were kept quite busy in one local town. My co-anchor Jennifer Abney was there. Jennifer. That's right, Pat. It actually happened, and I happened to be in South Charleston today when one of the calls went out. And to be honest, it was a bit unnerving, to say the least. At 12:10, a shelter-in-place order was issued for parts of South Charleston. We heard some fire trucks go bomb. I stepped outside, and it, they headed toward the ordnance plant. Um, so we we're just hanging out inside till we get the all clear. Thank you for calling the police. Moments Teddy. after he saw the emergency vehicles go by, Teddy right. Atkins got the call at his salon to stay indoors. At Clairon, they have what they call a decomposition. It's chlorine product. It gets moisture in it. It'll start to create its own heat. They was able to move it to what they call a decomposition pad, which is the safe space for that. And it takes massive amounts of water to get it under control. Once they did that, the problem was uh, mitigated. After about 15 minutes, the order was lifted, but the South Charleston Fire Department didn't have to wait long before they were responding to another situation. The Clarion call was the first call that we received, and approximately 15 minutes into that call is when we received a call for the gas leak. Fire Chief Virgil White says a work crew was digging near the plaza and hit a significant gas line. When we arrived on the scene, we could smell gas prior to getting to the mall. We did immediately evacuate the businesses and the apartment buildings surrounding that leak and shut down traffic. The odor had Amber concerned as well. It's not until I actually started walking out the building, then I could kind of smell gas. So that's why I haven't even lit a cigarette yet. Which was a good decision, according to Chief White. Well, where the clouds building and the winds blowing, the gas stays low to the ground. So we have a concern of people smoking or overheated vehicles. A car may backfire, so that could cause an explosion. Crews work to secure the line, and the South Charleston Fire Department continues to work to keep the public safe, no matter how fast the calls come in. It's, uh, you know, it's rare that you get two major calls like that back to back, so it's hard to fathom that sometimes, but it does happen. Which also really goes to show you how important emergency mm -hmm. response training is for those double scenarios there. And it sounds like a scary situation for all those who are nearby. Jennifer. Absolutely, but to reiterate, and most importantly, it is all clear now. And another big thanks to emergency service personnel today. All right.